So we're haying today and uh, my uncle here is cutting down the field, giving me a break. So I decided to walk into the woods here and I come across, I'm in a seat spot, an absolute seat spot, right on an X. You can see it's all structured back into the big structure. Um, so they'll do the entry marker and it's not always attached but they do a teepee type structure right close to it and the entry marker is out of an oak tree probably it's out of a hardwood tree like 95% of the time and they'll bend it and then break it off most of the time they break it off but this one is out of an oak tree more times than not it's out of an oak tree so they bent it broke it off um, and then that teepee structure will be next to it or somewhere near but this one's right attached to it which is freaking amazing <laughs> this is absolutely an amazing spot here absolutely being used now that's the seat spot See where they kick out of the, so you got the seat spot is right there. There's your X, they kick out of that. There's your, uh, I don't know, people call them trail markers where they curve. But the one that comes out of the X comes to the next exact point right here. And then they'll cross, but this is all kicking back into the structure in here. There's another seat spot right here. Right here. Here's another entry type marker one. This one ain't broke off though. Look at where they step right here. You can see his whole foot right here. Another seat spot right here. Look at that, the X with the tube, the birch bark tube. Man. Here's another. You can see the, I think it's the heel here. He stepped right here. Looks like it. Here's your entry marker. Into the teepee type one. I want to see what this side of it looks like. They'll have seat spots here too, probably. Wow, look at that, guys. Absolutely amazing. I'm probably close to a seat spot right here somewhere. <laughs> right there, looks like it's right there. Yeah, look at this structure in here. Wow, that's cool. Ah, there's the Blue Jay. <laughs> I think most people know that, get out in the woods, the, J the Jays have a really 
strong connection with these beings. I've been having uh, sciatica, like a nerve, drastic nerve pain of the hip, and it's going all the way down my leg. And uh, it started, I got into heavy whipping cream. And uh, so I was having that with maple syrup, and yeah, there looks like a C spot right here. Look at that bend. Anyways, anybody that knows anything that would help me it would be great if you'd leave a comment. Look at this structure. Boy, that's cool. Look at that. So you got the one lodged up in here. Look at the one they hung up here. Where this one comes, and then they hung one. And look at the Y in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Something was digging here. This got pushed right down. This is recent. I'm getting eight alive. There's a lot of bugs in here. Look at all these. All those. Nope, here's another seat spot, I believe. And it's right in the crook here, see that? I gotta get out of the woods. I'm getting just pummeled. I don't have any bug spray on. Your triangle type one. See now these, these are ferns, like, so these ones, are, some of them are still on, but a lot of these are like picked clean, like there should be ferns coming out of here. Maybe they're able to eat ferns, I don't know. Beautiful. Look at that one. See the lean one right behind it? There's a foot impression right here. Most every year that we come hay this hay field, I take a hike through the woods, so. So I probably knew I was gonna be coming back into the woods somewhere here. I thought maybe with the tractor noise, I might catch them off guard, but. <laughs> hip hurts See, there's more structures back there, but I can't take these bugs too much longer here.
there's a piece of wire just sitting in here. It ain't attached to anything. That's kind of weird. It's like lodged right in here. Right on the burnt stump. Burnt pine. Well, here's the hay field. There's my uncle. I'm going to take a peek back here quick. I gather chaga, so I see a couple of birch trees back here I'll take a look at. Maybe we'll sneak up on something. If anybody ever hears a real high-pitched uh, whistle, I mean really high-pitched, um, the clear sighting I ever had was like perfect class A. Uh, big Sasquatch. Uh, I had the high pitch whistle uh, When they realized I was there. It was a really high pitched whistle and then a lot of movement and then uh, Yeah, I was moving my head back and forth looking around like smaller popple trees like this and I went like that And he was standing just I could see him clear as day. Ooh, beautiful piece of chaga right there I'll have to Come cut that That's a beauty. I've explained chaga a lot of times on my videos, but it's a highest known antioxidant to man. It's it's a fungus. Birch it's a it's a type of fungus. It's right there. It looks like charcoal growing out of the side of the tree and it's corky type substance on the inside. It's got a gold color. And uh High stone antioxidant man by like hundreds of times over like aki berries or anything and uh, it's also it, it's it's a super considered a superfood and there's so much nutrition in that I mean it's, it's probably the top super superfood in the world and you know you make a tea out of it I sell it on I sell it on eBay I'll uh, Try to remember to post a link to my eBay if anybody's interested. But I got it ground, I grind it like coffee grounds, and then uh, it's it's dry, so it'll last up to like five years, you know, just on your shelf. Um, if you're in a really moist, somewhere really moist, you want to keep it sealed or or like in a paper bag, so it don't get moisture content in it. And you can add it right to your coffee grounds. Uh, a lot of information on how much you use. I use like a, I use about a teaspoon per cup of coffee. Um, if you're doing a 10 cup pot, maybe do like one to two tablespoons. Free food. Those are so good. Anyways, see you guys later.